Hi, welcome to the Gaming Archive. I'm Tom and I'm here today to teach you how to connect up uh, the beautiful PS2 to a modern TV or to a, um, a smart TV. So, uh, this is what you get when you uh, bring home your PS2. You get one of these, which is uh, ooh, a bit daunting. Uh, but this, this used to plug into the old uh, antenna pint on the back of a telly. And, uh, the smart TVs don't seem to be able to find the PS2s or any of the consoles when we use the antenna. So it's never a good idea because even if you do have to, even if you do retune the TV and you find the signal, the chances are that when you disconnect your PS2, the TV will lose that position. So which means that you'll end up having to retune the TV every time you want to play your PS2, and that's that's just not on. So. What I'm going to do is get rid of that because you don't really need it. Uh, now, let's take a look at the cable. So, this also comes with your... Let's have a little look. This also comes with your PS2. And this is your... Basically, this is your... Not your power supply. Your power supply is a two-pin. Everyone knows. Just plugs into the socket and you're fine. But to connect to the TV using the PS2, the PlayStation 2, Point. You just plug it into the back of the box, and after that, after that, I might as well put that back. What you can do is, if your telly has a SCART socket, you can connect your, your AV sock AV cables, like so. Connect directly into the SCART socket on the telly, which is how we're operating right now. So I've got a. Probably game on, SS Tricky, uh, skateboarding, so PS, PS2 game, entering the TV using the SCART socket. So what we're going to do is, we're going to just turn that off for a moment. So, uh, disconnect the SCART and show you another way of putting it in. So it works fine on the SCART, that's fine, that's one way of doing it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another way. This is AV to HDMI. Very simple, very straightforward. Connect up your AV cables, your colored cables, your yellow, white, and red goes in on one side, and on the other side, HDMI. So I'm gonna connect, I've got a HDMI cable on the telly. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna connect it in here. Uh, this one takes PowerPoint. Takes a power supply. I'll show you what it needs. Needs a little bit of love, a little bit of power. Um, USB point going into a plug. I'm sure you've seen them. I'm sure you've got it. So all I do is connect that into the side of the AV adapter. So I've got one over here, so I don't need to do it. So effectively. Uh, there we go, so now I've got AV cable going into the HDMI adapter and coming to the TV. But what I have to do is change the telly from SCART to HDMI. So to do that, just go to TV and we've got HDMI here. It won't be easy or hard. Change it to HDMI. And let's see. There you go. Select English. Yes. What do we got? And we got SS Tricky X back again. So there you go. You can connect up. As I said, you can try with the uh, antenna. We don't recommend it. Scart if you have one. And if you don't, then use the uh, AV. Use the AV to HDMI and that brings it in in much better quality. A couple of settings on the side of this little box if you do get one. Uh, it's got 720 and 1080 so I've used this without the power supply and gen generally I'll get a 720 signal going into the TV which isn't bad but if you want better quality put the power supply in as I've shown using uh, these little USB, -C USB power points and switch over here to 1080 so that you can get a better power. 
and it's a go it's gorgeous. Works absolutely gorgeous. Your PS2 will work absolutely gorgeous um, on either the AV or on the HDMI. But we recommend we recommend the HDMI. It's it's just it's just a better job. Uh, now I've got one other way of doing it. Uh, believe it or not, so this will be the, the third way of doing it. For whatever reason, sometimes maybe you uh, don't have a SCART that's, uh, in, that's available, maybe you have a SCART socket uh, but it's been used for something else and what this is, is this is SCART to HDMI. So you can connect up, theoretically, gets a little bit crazy, theoretically yellow white, red into the SCART, SCART into the HDMI adapter and then HDMI cable here. Before you know it, you're up and running again using these two gadgets. So that's three different ways. Um, you want to see a fourth way? Well, let me show you. Uh, which one are we using? Let's have a look at this one. This is a different way again. And you're going to love this one. If I can find it, uh, where are we? Here we are. Pardon me, I'm out of shot. Right, different way again. So back of your PS2. Uh, what am I looking at? Well, what I'm looking at is a HDMI adapter for the PS1 and the PS2. So what it does is connects into the back of your PS2 uh, and it connects into the HDMI. So you don't need the SCART, don't need the AV to HDMI, you just get the adapter. Once again, needs a little power point. So it needs a little power which you put into the side then you'll put it into one of these so you can be up and running again in seconds so that's four different ways of running your ps2 into a tv uh, a modern tv scar tv whatever you've got it'll plug it in so these few bits and pieces these cost about five pound from amazon or ebay four or five pound from amazon or ebay this one's a little bit more expensive, might have been eight or ten pound, but either way, if that's what you want, that's what you get. Uh, if your HDMI cables are, if for example your TV has got loads of bits hanging out of it, and you don't have a HDMI port or a free one, this is a HDMI splitter. And what you can do with that is you can uh, pop the Pop that into your TV, pop the top end where you have one outlet, pop that into the TV and put two feeds in here so you can have two consoles connecting into this little splitter. It will automatically change, all you do is turn on a console, it will detect it and it will automatic switch, automatically switch that console to the TV. Uh, if, you, if you're really getting desperate and you've got loads of consoles like us, and you use these. Now this will take five consoles to one HDMI port and it will automatically split. You just turn off all the consoles, whichever one you turn on, the splitter will detect and transmit the signal to the TV. So you spoiled for choice. Four different ways to connect up your PS2 uh, to your smart TV or modern TV. If your HDMI isn't uh, available or you have you don't have a spare port, use the gamma splitter or this five-way split. Brilliant, that's all, I can, that's all I can do. That's all I can tell you. So, uh, brilliant. Uh, we're doing loads of videos on how to connect up the old consoles, the retro consoles. We've just done one for the Commodore, uh, for the Sega Mega Drive. We're doing one later today, I believe, for the Nintendo 64. So. Uh, by the time we're done, there'll be videos out there for connecting up all the consoles to smart TVs and modern TVs. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully you now got all the information you need. Thanks a bunch. See you on the next video. Bye now.